All right, so we got some catching up to do as it looks like over the past weekend, we had a new Yeezy.com drop. We also got Supreme making some noise as they've revealed this week's capsule in collaboration with Mason Margiela. But to kick things off, let's go ahead and start with Fear of God Athletics as it looks like today they have revealed their spring 2024 lookbook. And just like we saw with the debut collection from last December, you got a combination of footwear as well as clothing with items ranging from 140 bucks, as you see with the Fear of God Athletics Performance Muscle Tee, all the way to 600 bucks, as you see with the Fear of God Athletics car coat. Now, as far as the clothing items, you know, some items are making a return from last season. We also do have uh, some new items added as well, but it seems like as far as the spring collection, they have added a little pop of color in here, as you see with this beige colored Fear of God Athletics heavy jersey three quarter mock-up tee, which retails at 180 bucks. And then you have uh, some light shades of yellow here with the stripes on the Fear of God Athletics heavy fleece sweatpants, which is coming in at 200 bucks. Now, as far as the footwear, I was expecting for us to see that new basketball three model, I believe is what they were calling them. But as far as the footwear, it looks like we do have uh, some new items here with the 86 high, which is Jerry's take on the classic Adidas rivalry. We did see this model leak in the past, so it's cool to see that these will uh, actually be getting a official retail release. We also have a new lighter tone color of the uh, Fear of God Los Angeles runner, and then a new shade with this uh, mint, beige color of the fear of god basketball one so definitely a big fan of this model here and as far as this color scheme i feel like we have nothing like this here on the market currently so i'm most definitely rocking with it but as far as the price point coming in at 250 bucks that's where it kind of makes me you know question my purchase matter of fact as we take a look at the entire collection I feel like the price points are kind of what are keeping many people away. Um, we did hear Jerry mention previously that they were working on getting the price points a little bit lower. So uh, it looks like they haven't accomplished that goal just yet. But as far as the looks and all the items that we see so far, I'm a big fan. It's just that price point is kind of what's just killing it for me. But let me know what you guys think about these joints down below. And today we had Supreme reveal their latest capsule in collaboration with Mason Margiela. Now, of course, in the past, we've seen Supreme team up with different high-end designers whether it was Louis Vuitton or Comos de Garçon but I feel like as far as when this collection was revealed today we haven't seen people talking about Supreme this much possibly like since that whole Tremaine Emery controversy and I feel like what makes this capsule great is they're kind of getting away from that whole hype beast movement and leaning into a more refined mature fashionable type of look so you got Supreme classics like the box logo you also have these uh, tank tops stitched together which allows for this cool double layering type of effect you have cool vintage looking pieces like this deconstructed hoodie as well as workwear staples uh, like this jacket right here you also have odd cool accessories like this wig that Ye was even rocking with so much that he reposted it to his stories and then you got fashionable pieces like this faux fur coat so a lot of great items of course this capsule will be dropping coming up this Thursday 11 a.m. Eastern and only time will telling if this collection will have a lasting impact such as like say uh, classic collections like the Louis Vuitton collaboration but I feel like as far as this collection the great thing that's already you know done is it has everybody talking about it whether you love it or hate it I feel like it brings people from two different audiences together and that's the perfect definition of a successful collaboration and lastly we got a new yeezy.com drop which actually went live this past Friday so this is part of the $20 for everything sale which was unveiled with a big Super Bowl campaign at the time everybody was praising yay for bringing these high-end designs at an affordable price but now after the massive shipping delays it seems like that narrative is starting to kind of change which we're going to touch on here shortly but first we got three new items added for the drop the first one being this adidas jersey which i can't help but kind of laugh every time i read it um, they always say art is a form of expression and i think we clearly get the message behind this design so it appears that this is some type of mesh material it's kind of difficult to tell from these images Images, but we've seen Ye rocking these at the various Vultures listening events. Um, so cool little item coming in at 20 bucks. Um, you also have the Gosha Black Dogs hoodie in black, as well as just your standard black hoodie. Everything coming in at the affordable price of just 20 bucks. And uh, just as a reminder, Gosha, who was named as the lead designer over at Yeezy, takes a lot of his inspirations from the military. He's a Russian fashion designer who also uses Russian street and youth culture, uh, as well his own experiences to uh, create his various collections so just a little insight behind the designs now I'm probably looking to grab the 
that uh, fuck Addy hoodie um, as far as the sizing goes. Uh, looks like we have our boy Trevor on here. So uh, salute to Trevor on the size guide. Uh, usually we have brother, but it looks like Trevor, he's coming in at 6'4", 170 pounds. So he got a crazy build and apparently Trevor is rocking that size three. So the best advice I could give y'all for sizing is because they only come in three sizes. Size one is going to be for if you're on like the smaller size. Size two would be just your standard build. And I guess size three would be for like your taller, heavier husky type of dude. So choose wisely as far as going with sizing. I'll probably pick up the jersey myself, but I'm not even going to lie. I haven't grabbed that joint just yet because I'm still waiting on my previous orders i feel like me as well as millions of others are still waiting on their uh delayed yeezy orders which originally i believe adida or yeezy was promising like one to two weeks uh, on the merch possibly like four to eight weeks on the pods but it seems like some people are waiting for now well over like two months um me i believe i ordered my pods the first time in december i did actually cancel that original order due to sizing and reordered my pair in january so i did get my pods um i did get one of the t-shirts so far but all of the other items i'm still waiting on so just a reminder you know even if you did get a big order they are just shipping out certain items i guess once they're made you know in advance so if you guys want to check your order status just google yeezy tracking you can type in your order number there and uh, if you do have your original order email that's very helpful because you could just click the hyperlink literally in the email to uh, get a tracking update. So just a reminder, um, certain items are shipping ahead of others. So if you have multiple items in one single order, you can expect you know potentially to get some items before others. So a lot of shipping delays. I think Yeezy really messed up by giving estimated times for shipping. And I think they should have just let us know in advance that all of this stuff was just like a pre-order and just to expect it months down the line. I kind of think back to like the Jesus is King merch or some of like the Travis Scott merch or different artists merch you know it's usually a pre-order in advance and then you know you can expect to receive that like months down the line um i know some people like waited like a year for like past merch you know horrible stories like that so as far as this merch i mean you got hoodies added today and uh, we got spring summer approaching so i feel like by the time we get some of these hoodies it'll probably be like winter time and uh you guys can <laughs> just go ahead and enjoy those then so as far as the merch i would say order with caution just knowing that uh you can expect orders to be delayed for months but then again is that new yeezy so i know y'all gonna buy it anyway so let me know if you guys picked up any of the items from this new yeezy drop or are you still waiting on various you know shipping delays and before we bounce we got an update on unk who was raising a debate about his fit which went viral he was rocking a pair of new balance 574s a good matching polo with a good pair of creased jeans now this fit was causing so much noise that joe fresh goods actually reached out trying to look for unk get his information but uh it seems as though joe fresh goods hasn't reached out just yet as we got unk posting a new fit pic with the caption reading i ain't fresh Tell me what fresh is supposed to look like because that coordination game is unstoppable. Tell New Balance to bring me that deal. Happy Saturday. Hashtag I ain't fresh. Hashtag d -Lam for the win. So it looks like Unk is remaining true to himself and we're still waiting on that New Balance deal. So I'll keep you guys updated with the Unk Chronicles. But for now, you know, leave your feedback down below. Let me know what you guys think about this whole Yeezy.com drop. Let me know what y'all think about the new Supreme Lookbook as well as this new fear of god athletics spring collection so we're gonna wrap things up right here i'm ja make sure y'all stay safe stay blessed and i'm out y'all love <laughs>